What's up guys? So uh, yesterday I had finished up buttoning up the uh, powertrain and I actually mounted it back up into the uh, car. So today we're going to be um, plumbing everything, um, vacuum testing the coolant system and yeah hopefully get it fired up today. So what I've done here is I've gone ahead and completed plumbing the fuel and the vapor recovery stuff um, on this side of the engine that way it's I don't have to mess with it anymore and I could just leave the vacuum tester on the coolant bottle while I proceed to finish up over here on this engine on the right side and then I also I'll leave it on there while I'm doing the stuff underneath just to see how long it holds the vacuum for it should hold it for you know forever really uh, for a hundred percent clean uh, sorry um, for a 100% sealed system. So um, let's go ahead and do that and uh, we'll take an initial reading. So I've uh, vacuumed it to negative uh, 25 and that needle should not move at all. Hey guys, um, I'm getting ready to fire this thing up for the first time. Uh, it's been down for, what is it? Damn. Six days, almost seven days. So I had the engine completely torn apart, uh, verified that, I just verified that there's no uh, leaks within the cooling system. That was a big major repair that I did. Um, it held vacuum for well over an hour. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fill the cooling system. Uh, I just topped off my oil and filled up the car steering pendency. So I triple checked all my work up top, down low. Uh, there's still some minor things I gotta do. Um, I have a uh, aftermarket e Evo MS uh, GT2 sl clutch slave cylinder kit that I installed. And the slave is actually on the car now. I need to flush out all the pendants in from and, uh, all the lines going to and from and install a new master cylinder and reservoir and uh, hydraulic launch. So right now I'm gonna pre-mix my coolant. Um, I've got about four gallons total here, so I'm hoping that's enough, but for those that don't know, Porsche coolant is very freaking expensive, so um, I kind of try to pinch my pennies on that. We'll just do a 50-50 mix of the concentrate and the distilled water. Honestly, I could have probably used the Volkswagen Audi shit, but uh, I was already in line at the uh, Porsche counter, so I was ordering all this stuff. So this is two gallons for the uh, concentrate. Leave 
leave that there, I'll be right back. Seems to be holding steady, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this valve and the coolant's going to run through this tube and into a coolant system. Obviously there's a pocket of air between here and where it enters the bucket, so what you want to do is just open it very slowly until it makes contact and then put it into more of a vacuum. So just open the valve as slow as possible. Wash the coolant run out. Alright, so it just entered the coolant uh, expansion tank and now that the air is going inside the tube, so I'm going to put it into another vacuum just for a split second. wait until the gauge on the vacuum goes to uh, All right, so this thirsty bitch took every bit of four gallons of coolant. Coolant bottle's full, the vacuum is gone. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cap it. And I'll not be surprised if that coolant level goes down and I'll have to top off later. But, all right, so here's the moment of truth. I'm going to uh, connect the battery and fire it up. So hopefully when we fire this thing up, you won't, I mean, there's not gonna be any weird noise right now. Hopefully it starts. Uh, <laughs> uh, first time doing this, but uh, we'll see. Wish me luck. some failure but that happens every time I disconnect the battery um, let's see what our data is showing let's check for codes says no codes present. Granted it's only been running for like 45 seconds so I don't know. But um, what I like to do is I like to read my live data and just monitor everything. Um, I think it's actual values on this. Mainly um, coolant, pre uh, coolant temp and misfire info and cam deviation. So we'll get that set up and yeah we'll just uh, let it run until operating temp and then we'll take a uh, take more readings but yeah she seems to be good 